this is the red pill reich now today i have good information that my hypothesis of before is actually confirmed with studies that the female mate choice copying heuristic which used to be an adaptive thing in nature and i talked about it in another video is an evolutionary mismatch now and is maladaptive in the modern clown world we live in now and uh it's not only that they want a guy that they see other women with, they want a guy that is similar to that. So it's generalized. And I'll be posting a link in the description below. It is generalized. I've been talking about this a long time, how women will go for something that just because the guy fits a certain image over actually a better looking dude. And they do this all the fucking time. And now the evidence is here. It's generalized. And you can read the link. They will go for a man who fits that same image, that same style, that same swagger. And this is really essentially what game is all about. I mean, doing these things that women are being, you know, conditioned to want <laughs> and you'll get those women. So that this is, uh, you know, it's, you don't have to look exactly like the guy all throughout the decades. We see this like in the 90s was when the gangster rap shit took off. All right. That is when you really first started seeing white women and other women of other races interested in black dudes. Before that, you would rarely see a white girl with a black dude. Maybe if she grew up in the inner city, in the ghetto, and it was usually the stereotypical fat, ugly woman that nobody wanted. It, it would. It's also, you know, rare. It would be rare to see a mestiza. Now, if a if a Latina is like Puerto Rican and she's part black, yeah, it makes sense to see them with a black dude. But a mestiza, it doesn't make sense. You started seeing these girls be into these gangster dudes because that is what the propaganda and the media, and of course these people are making money off of this, is pushing, you know, because they want to make money off of the records and shit like that and selling clothes. Well, anyway, that is when they see w women with these kind of guys. Not only do they want that guy, but it doesn't have to be Tupac. It could be someone that fits that same image, and that's where this generalized mate choice copying heuristic comes in. It goes beyond just the, that same man, but anyone who fits that image is also what they want. I mean, this is this is the answer, my friends. <laughs> this is what's going on here. The oofy doofy thing falls into this. Today, with the woke culture, anything masculine is toxic. So the guys that they're going to see with these women are these loofy doof fuckers. At, oh, these effeminate bitch men. And today, what is it? It's not, it's not gangster anymore. It's K-pop. These effeminate, androgynous, bitch-faced guys that women are going for. Why? Because they see these other girls. No, it doesn't have to be the actual singer in the band. But anyone who portrays that image, that effeminate look, is what women are going for now. Because they see other women going for it. This has been what I've been talking about forever. But now, we have the scientific underpinning of it. This is what's going on, my friends. This explains the oofy doofy phenomenon and the other things we talked about too. But now, this mate choice is maladaptive. This mate choice copying is an evolutionary mismatch now. It used to be advantageous in our evolutionary history, but today, in this modern fucking clown world, it is not advantageous. It is a, um, you know, it is an evolutionary mismatch. It's, it's a uh, maladaptive thing. So they're seeing these guys that the society's pushing. They see other women with this kind of guy. So it doesn't have to be that very same man. Anyone who fits that image and portrays that same style and swagger and all this bullshit, that's what they're going for. That This is it. Read the link. This is very real. This generalized thing of the mate choice copying is what's going on here. This is why women are picking these fucking goofballs. And it's been like this. I mean, in the in the 60s, it would have been hippies. In the 70s, it would have been the disco queens and kings. I mean, it, it's this shit, my friend. That's what the fuck it's about. And if you read this, you'll see this fits perfectly in with it. it it's this. It is social engineering. But they're using this mechanism that, again, that was an advantageous. It was a um, adaptive thing in our evolutionary history. But now it is an evolutionary mismatch and it's maladaptive and it's leading to the fucking dysgenics because they're not they're seeing these guys because they see other women. They think, oh, this is a top guy. This is a good quality man, good genetics, but it's not. And we have dysgenics. 
they're going with that and that's why game works too because they're fitting in with that particular style that is considered the thing to do today so all the guys are going to go out and buy this shit to look like that a lot of guys are going to try to look like a k-pop guy because that's what women want today made choice copying generalized to not just that same guy but to all dudes that fit that image that's what's going on here people and uh you know this is an evolutionary mismatch <laughs> i'll post a link in the description below and until next time ciao